Welcome to Comic-Con. What a perfect venue to celebrate Midnight Texas. Fun supernatural show. How's the fan response been so far? This is the best place to celebrate Midnight Texas. What a launching pad for our wonderful show that's going to be airing this Monday. So, yeah, it's been great. The fan experience has been great. Everybody's been very positive about, about our show. The activation that NBC put together was out of this world. It belongs at Universal Studios. So, yeah, the overwhelming support that the fans already have from the show they haven't seen has just been uh, mind-blowing. So we're really excited. You mentioned the activation. Did you get a chance to go through? Oh, yeah, multiple times. <laughs> One's not enough for me. I had to go through multiple times, yeah. Right, so we've got a show with angels. We've got uh, vampires. We've got psychics. We've got ghosts. I mean, tell us about your character. We also have Nazi biker gangs, too. Uh, my character's Bobo, and he's the, uh, he owns the local the pawn shop, uh, Midnight Pawn. Uh, and Bobo has a dark past that he's running from, as does everyone in Midnight. And uh, with the veil fraying between uh, the living and the dead in Midnight, a lot of evil is drawn there. And Bobo's evil's past is starting to catch up with him. So it's going to be interesting to see what ensues with, it, with his relationship with the other Midnighters. Has it been fun kind of tackling that supernatural world to get prepared? It's really fun. Um, and me being one of the only humans in town and being one of the newer residents, uh, he, Bubba's kind of learning about the supernatural elements of the town as it goes. So for me to play that, it was really interesting to, to show the shock and the awe. Wow, there's an angel flying right there. Like, I don't remember in church uh, them talking about angels inhabiting Earth. But yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's really, it was a really great time. And the pawn shop is really creepy, too. And there's a lot of weird supernatural elements in, inside the pod shop as well. Dolls might come to life, you never know. Talking heads, anything's possible. Guns might shoot themselves. It's weird. Well, and uh, we hear Charlene Harris was on the panel today. I mean, an incredible author, obviously a fan favorite here at Comic-Con. But also, what a doll. Like, one of the sweetest, funniest, coolest ladies I've ever met. And. To think that all this craziness has come from that wonderful brain of hers is, is mind-boggling. But yeah, she's she's a legend, and for us to be on a show and to uh, be part of one of her babies is 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 a big honor for all of us. So we, we hope we, we do her proud, and I think we have. I know you guys are on a crazy schedule. Have you gotten a chance to have any fun on the floor or look around at the con? Uh, not yet. Our schedules have been pretty full, but. I always say it's not a good Comic Con unless you lose your voice, and mine is obviously on the way out. So, so it's been it's been a great time. It's just I just love interacting with the fans because everyone here is so passionate and so supportive, and and these are the kind of people that we want to watch our show. So, it's just been a really wonderful experience.